Hello everyone, welcome to X Beyond the Frontier. Um, I don't know if the intro will be shown again. I don't think so. I will I will record that separately, I think, and, and put that up. Um, let's just start the game. A great game, very old game from 1999. Um, which most people don't know, I think. And which has many, many um, issues, but even more great things in it. That's why I want to enjoy this game again with all of you. Let's start. Oh, and it... No, that's not the intro. No. There's no music for some reason, but that's fine. Just make our own music in our heads. It's called imagination, guys. Pretty cool ship. One we will never see again, unfortunately. At least I think so. We are a test pilot in the experimental shuttle. Ah. There we go. All stations stand by for launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. Launch completed. Systems, report. All systems are go. Comms, we are online loud and clear. Medic. Vital signs are Medic. good and normal. Acknowledged. <laughs> I love this. For prototype test procedures. Medic? Okay. <laughs> Everything fine? Everything's Next fine, sir. Good. From the top. First, the basic acceleration deceleration run to gauge the engine propulsion capacity. Yeah. Initiate yeah, just a second. By pressing the accelerator button or use the throttle control in your controller. Just a Do second. I want to touch any try my throttle, but accelerator. I don't think it works. In order to conclude the test, no. you need to accelerate to maximum velocity. Oh, I can't Ready. even... Really? Count oh, that's cool. I like Three, that. Two, um... One. Accelerate. Yeah, I'm I'm trying, sir. I'm, I'm, try I'm trying, but my throttle just doesn't. Just doesn't want to. Can I do it here? No. Even my pedals are not working. For some reason. Okay, let's just do it for the moment. Like this. Oh, and I can boost too. Just with the keyboard. Nice work. But I can? We can yeah. Joystick step. works. Commence Out of the box. By pressing your deceleration button or use the throttle control in your controller. Count down to deceleration. Three, two, one. Decelerate. Yeah, decelerating. It is so slow to decelerate in this game. <laughs> and it's really... Um, well... Well, Moving can be can be Plan really dangerous. The next test is basic Looks so cool. navigation. It's designed to make the pilot feel comfortable with the steering and to obtain physical feedback of the usability of the control design. This craft is equipped roll. with a three-axis control device. This allows you to steer the craft up, down, sideways, and to rotate it counterclockwise and clockwise. All these controls are, of course, also available through your joystick where applicable. Where applicable, the right? While we prepare our monitoring equipment for the test, we the actual maneuvering procedures in six Oh my god! Seconds. Oh, it has, it has acceleration and rolling. I hear strange stuff. Okay, why do I hear strange stuff? I can't shoot, by the way. Is that normal? <laughs> I don't know what they are doing in the background, but that's fine. Actually, for such an old game, the graphics is kind of okay. And I like the space dust. 
to give you an indication that you are moving and uh, about how quickly time you are moving. Up, it's time to proceed. I That's hope you fine. Have time to to the, controls. the maneuvering test will begin at coordinates one zero. Let's do that stuff. You will see the location marked on your radar. You can see if the location is above or below you by the lines attached to the dot. Yeah, like Please like this. The site and it's actually a the pretty intelligent system. Oh God. So I. Wait for my mark. All yeah, screen. it's okay. Ow, I'm I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, maneuvering is going great. Just saying, it's amazing. <laughs> we we didn't just we didn't just die. What are you What are you saying, man? It's fine. It's All it's fine. Go. God damn it. I'm good at this game, totally. All stations stand by for prototype test procedures. I could. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to jump ahead because we wouldn't know what we're doing. Um. The problem is we wouldn't know what is going on if I just press Shift X. I could skip all this. Mm -hmm. Three. Already done, so it's fine. One. Whee! Accelerate. Nice work, pilot. We have our readings and Flying with a joystick in this step. game is really good. Commence deceleration by pressing your deceleration button or use the throttle control in your I actually played this Count game with keyboard and mouse because Three. I didn't have a joystick back then. One. Decelerate. And then my um Well done, pilot. Oh god, I don't know the word in English. An uncle of mine the next test is gifted me his controller, which had a throttle, which was amazing for this game. The steering, and to obtain physical feedback of the usability of the control design. This craft is equipped with a three-axis yeah, control yeah, 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 it's fine. This it's fine. To steer the craft up, down, sideways, and to rotate it counterclockwise and clockwise. All these this is fine. are, of course, also available through your Whee. joystick where applicable. Feel free to try out the controls while we prepare monitoring equipment. <laughs> I hope no one gets seasick in here. Um, in where are you, sir? Oh, that's fine. 60 seconds, okay. Okay, let's just... Oh my god. Okay, the, the acceleration of rolling is quite strange. Um, I... I... I um, I'm not used to... Um, having an acceleration and rolling. Normally it's linear in my experience. Although it's it's okay. After we, we are done with this sequence, I want to uh, quickly go over the controls. Well, we could wait it's a second, it's fine. Let's just do this first part. And um, after we reach the the conclusion of this section, and the part is done, we will we will uh, quickly check the controls so I can hopefully use my throttle time because that would be nice. It's yeah, it's fine. Proceed. It's fine, I sir. I'm I'm ready. To the totally the ready. Oh god. I hope I can decelerate fast enough. Yes. Please decelerate faster. Please proceed to the maneuvering site and we will commence the test run. Mission control here. Mm -hmm. Please bring your engines to a complete halt and align your craft with the first array of Kessler rings situated um. along the maneuvering route. All stations report. All bio oh my god, look at all these rings. All communication systems are operative. We are detecting slight turbulence in starboard engine, sir. Nothing vital. We suspect solar winds to be the cause of interference. Let's hope we don't systems die this time. All stations stand by for the Kessler run. Pilot, this test requires run? you to pass through the Kessler rings one at a time in sequential order. Mm -hmm. It's important to stay in the middle of the rings as a collision with the devices will require us to start the run from the beginning again. Okay, if you that's bad. If you difficulties in maneuvering your craft, you can decrease your speed to give you more time to react to directional changes in the run. Attention all stations. Kessler run countdown commencing. Five, four, three... 
Yeah, okay, so it's green now. Can I save? I can't save yet. Which is amazing. Start all over again, haha. <laughs> okay, but for now that is fine. Let's just decelerate a little to have a little bit more time. We don't want to collide with these things. We're just here for some flying practice and that's fine. We will be able to do this completely. Probably better than I, I did with the keyboard and mouse in my time. Damn, that's so long ago. No, that was around 2003 or something. So four to five years after it after it launched. No, probably... No, it can't be uh, that much later. 2003, 2005. This game, by the way, is less than 400 megabytes big. And damn, this game has so much stuff in it. It's ridiculous. I, I can't imagine how about eight... I think it's about 80 sectors of space. 80 sectors in which you can trade and do whatever you want, build your own stations and such, if you have enough money, that is. Um, and it's just 400 megabytes. That is just not going into my brain anymore. That it really was that that uh, small. But yeah, it is. It is really that small. Probably even bigger now since it uh, got compatibility stuff built in so it can still run on, on modern machines. There we go. Job, Did it. That was a successful run. Whoop, whoop. Now let's move on to the third part of our test. Our third test will take us through the functions of the HUD heads up display. Okay. The X prototype is equipped with a powerful targeting system connected to the onboard computer. You can target objects in space by maneuvering your craft so that the objects you wish to target appear within the proximity of the crosshair directly in front of you. When that is done, press the target button to receive basic information about your target. To receive extended information on your target, press your information button. That's the target the button, okay. The computer will provide data stored in the internal memory circuits yeah, relevant for your target. We have placed a number of remote-controlled drones in your close proximity. Maneuver your spacecraft to their location okay. and target them one by one. You can Heavy carrier, oh. to the next object in view by pressing your toggle target button. Once you um. have a drone targeted, press the information button. Oh, there's the drone. The test will proceed when all drones have been targeted and examined. Nice. Interesting that this is the information button. Light shield. Uh -huh. Autonomous drone. Armstrong orbital station. Okay. You then? No, that's now locked on. A that's the wrong one. Drone used for pilot training. It can contain equipment. Or Betty is so amazing. Which are set free on destruction of the drone. Pretty cool. Tar well done, pilot. And in this game. Next target, camera. camera probe. Locate oh. and target an object. Thereafter, press your camera launch button to send off your camera towards the target. Uh, the image will be projected directly onto your retina, and you will therefore not be able to see your cockpit and surroundings. Use this feature with caution, as you might accidentally collide with any obstacles while viewing the camera yeah. images. You can rotate the camera probe around the target object either counterclockwise or clockwise by pressing the rotate camera left, rotate camera right buttons. Really it's cool. It's also possible to zoom in and out on the target object by pressing the zoom camera in, zoom camera out buttons. Have that is while amazing. Your is launched, and I you can press the toggle target button to move the camera yes, yes, to the next fine. nearest object. You can interrupt the camera transmissions by pressing the normal cockpit view button. This will also instruct the camera to return to your ship. All stations, I need a sit rep. The bio readings are fine and normal. Communications are fine, sir. We are still experiencing some abnormal. I, I really forgot that this is in the game, to We're be honest. Never use that one. For any problems. I see no reason for aborting the test procedures, sir. Very well. Reports are logged. All stations proceed. Now for the fourth test in our procedures, pilot. These procedures will take us through the ship's weapon system. The X-Proto is equipped with the most powerful laser cannon ever developed and two zero-gravity designated missiles. These weapons are mainly designed to destroy space junk and smaller asteroids. Yeah, right. Space press junk. Press the fire button on your controls. To fire missiles, press the launch missile button on your controls. 
Don't bother trying just now, as the missiles haven't been fitted on your craft yet. First step in the weapon Unfortunately. is to locate and target an object. We have nope. placed Stop. remote controlled drones in the close surroundings. Find them, target them, and shoot them down with your laser. Target now locked on Hello. drone. Is there any target help? Oh, I, I'm hitting. That's good. Don't want to hit my, my carrier craft because that would be probably considered very rude. But that's fine, right? That's so much fine. It's great. Would you please die? Powerful lasers? Come on. I have to hit them, them so many times. Anytime you feel like it, pilot. Target now. Good shooting, yeah. pilot. When they're destroyed, some drones will release a small cargo container. You can target these containers to get information about the contents and pick them up by opening the cargo bay when you're very close to them. Remember to close your cargo bay in case you don't pick anything up, since your shields will be down. The X Proto is very vulnerable because of this. You open and close yeah, the cargo unfortunately. bay by pressing the Operate Bay button. If the contents of the container are specific to the X Proto, oh, they will be automatically fitted. If not, they will be stored in the cargo bay. It is so hitting stuff is really hard. Cargo bay. Cycle the cargo marker by pressing the shift cargo button and press the operate bay button to eject the marked cargo. Where's the cargo? Didn't you say there should be cargo? Oh, there is cargo here. Beluga there missile. It is. Oh, beluga Warning. missile. Cargo bay open. Shields are down. That's fine. Belugas are good. Car Congratulations. You just picked up some missiles for your craft. They'll now be fitted automatically and you can use them to shoot down the next target. To use the missiles, you need to have a target lock on an object. Once an object is targeted, yes. launch the missiles by pressing the launch missile button. So the you... Will automatically home in on the there target. we go. However, if the missile runs out of fuel before it hits the target, it will self-destroy. Pretty good. We'll now launch some drones which can only be destroyed by missiles. They must all be destroyed for the test to proceed. Pretty good. Oh. Warning. Cargo bay open. Cargo bay now contains. Where Target are the drones? Show Met me the drones. Empty. Where's the drone? Oh, there's the drone. Give me. Target now locked on. Drone. Wee. I like that. The uh, meanwhile Gary is thinking, please stop talking. I just want to play. Yeah, right? Why are they so annoying all the time? Come on. Target now locked on. Drone. You're next. Target now locked on. Oh, that drone. was dumb. It hit it? Did it hit it? Look at the look at the radar. It's circling it. It did. It did hit it. That's fine. Good. Lucky. Um any more belugas for me? Oh, there are more drones, really, game. Warning. Cargo bay open. Shield. You are really vulnerable now if you Beluga don't have a shield in this game. You are Cargo really bay vulnerable. Empty. And guess Beluga missile. Guess what we are going to do Cargo in a while. <laughs> Cargo bay now contains Beluga missile. Uh, where's the drone? Need to get Beluga rid of you. Missile. Well done, pilot. The weapon system seems to be working just fine. All station status, please. We are measuring a slightly oh. higher pulse. Can't do just anything anymore. I guess. All just the excitement. Go. All signals are loud <laughs> and clear. Nothing but the usual static. Comms are go. Uh, we are still debugging the engine analysis software, sir. There are some readings which simply cannot be true. Hey, Righteous Bona! Welcome. Hold on. My team has just told me they found a small problem in the data evaluation core. The problem should be fixed. Mm -hmm. During an engine simulation, we expect to be go should, in one Should minute. be fixed, well. right? Pilot, I assume you already know this, but official procedures require me to tell you once again. The X Proto Starcraft is equipped with a special space jump device. It is a technology derived from the ancient jump gates made by our ancestors hundreds of years ago. This device mm -hmm. allows the craft equipped with it to travel from point A to point B in a matter of a split second. If this technology proves successful, it will change the way we humans travel forever. Yeah, we the it might. With the coordinates necessary for the jump. We need to make sure that this is all coordinated, so I want you to follow my commands to the letter. Understood? Systems, what is the situation with the engine? Since I can't say yes or no, it's fine, I guess. A small miscalculation that didn't take solar winds into consideration. Systems are go. 
Unless you feel we should double check? No, no, there's too much at stake. We can't afford to delay this test any longer. Yeah, just... All systems stand by. Why would you double check, right? Every five seconds, starting with BO, comms, and systems. Commence countdown on my command. That's Pilot. just a glitch, you know? Your orders are to initiate the fine. when the countdown reaches zero. Mm -hmm. We will monitor the whole procedure and we can abort immediately, should any problem arise. Yeah, well, I don't trust you with that. The device 10 seconds to reach the energy level needed for the jump. Then you will instantly find yourself at the destination point on coordinate 263-84. Ready? All stations stand by. Engaging jump Welcome to X Beyond the Frontier, by the way, Righteous Boner. Just wait a second six, to see what's happening. Five, four, three, two, mm -hmm. one, zero. Engage. Jump device charging at 10%. 20, 30, 40, 50%. 60. What could possibly go wrong, right? It's just a glitch in the software and some something. Adrenaline level rising. Doesn't matter. 1.5 over normal. Pulse is rising. EEG steady. EKG normal. It's very shaky, guys. We are losing signal. There's mm -hmm. magnetic interference. Countermeasures applied. They are not working. Engines look good. Computers look good. Oh my god. There it is again. Do you see it? Right there. Do you see that? Do you see the lightning hitting me? What? Mission command. Systems here. Abort jump procedures. I repeat, abort jump procedures. Doesn't yeah. anybody hear me? Abort! Abort! Systems Oops, order. I guess the glitch was a little bit more, a bit, little bit more important than you thought. I guess <laughs> just solar winds and such, you know, no biggie, right? <laughs> and there we are in deep space, unknown, completely unknown territory. No one was ever here. We are being hailed. At least as, as far as we know. And now strange lizard creatures are talking to us. Your channel contains unknown language. Um, jolly good sir, uh, we have a communication problem. Please, could you repeat? I love the visuals for the Teladi though. It's really cool. Uh, um, 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 sir, I, I still don't understand you. Please repeat it once again. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Lizard Guy, I think you mean species. There's no race, come on. Go with the times. Um, yeah, who are you? We ask questions. Who are you? Well, you are in a ship that's probably 50 times bigger than mine, so that's fair. Uh, Earth Fleet Test Pilot, rank number 501X. Or 501. Um, by the way, we are in hostile, or in, in potentially hostile, unknown space, without shields, without weapons, because everything got destroyed. Um, we are sitting ducks, we cannot move. We are essentially dead. <laughs> so, talking to these people must really frighten this pilot, I bet. And confuse, because, well, one second we were at Earth, and now we are... Somewhere. What's going on? I am the captain of the Teladi Company Space Fleet Ship Phoenix. Do not attempt to move. We are scanning Couldn't. your ship. We are scanned by Teladi Phoenix. Why did you not say you are of Morgan origin? We thought you were Xenon, or maybe working for Split. 
Uh, what are Argon? Yeah, we should remember the term Argon, because that is actually a pretty important term in in this game and the next one? No, actually the next two games. The Argons are very important for for the whole story. Um, although we will probably spend more time with the Teladi at the moment, but it's fine. Uh, um, mm, what is a split? Okay, that didn't say anything, just that you have a grudge with them. So, okay. What, what is a Xenon, please? Why do you claim you not know Xenon? Xenon? Interesting. In the universe. Yeah, we will learn about the Xenon or the Xenon. <laughs> That'll be fun. I am from planet Earth and I am lost. Could you please help me? We We hey, Aaron Kessinger. Welcome. Yeah, I probably shouldn't tell them the exact location. Just to be sure. We still don't know if these guys are hostile in any way. They could just keep me alive for as long as I'm useful, you know. Actually, that's pretty much what they're doing. But, well, that's another thing. Uh, so I, I think you played this game uh, before, Aaron Kessinger. Thank you, good luck, not going bankrupt. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna gonna happen right now. Um, uh, planet, uh, let's say that. Planet Earth, the home of mankind. We know nothing of this place, Earth, or mankind. Well, that's good. Um, what is this system called? Of the universe. Interesting. Uh, how did I get here? I have no idea. Our navigator claimed you just appeared in front of us. And I mean, consider the fluke. We were just spawned into into a region of space and not in, uh, into a region of space that is B, inhabited and A, not completely empty. Which are two different things, and they are very important in this case. And see, in front of a ship 50 times bigger or so than us, that didn't just kill us by just running us over. Pretty much, pretty many coincidences, right? What do you mean? They are just some wholesome aliens. Well, as far as we know, they could be murderous bastards that want to eat our skin, you know? It could be, we don't know. Actually, the Teladi are pretty okay, but not really wholesome, I would say. <laughs> how did I get? How do I get back, man? Come on! I suggest you get back the same way as you got here. Yeah. Do you know something about experimental uh, jump drives? Because I don't either. I'm just a test pilot. God damn it! I'm not an engineer. What am I doing here? I was supposed to be... Uh, to go to completely different coordinates. Yeah, well, you're getting along fine, apparently. Just your brain is a little bit damaged because, well... Why are you surprised now? I mean, we're talking to an alien. Mm-hmm. Oh, great, thanks. Thirty thousand? I thought ten thousand. What? <laughs> what do I owe you credits? <laughs> I love that. Yeah, they are giving us uh, uh, um, just a shield, just just for free. No, no, not not for free. Just just for thirty thousand credits, 
which is a a big sum for such a thing. It's huge. That thing probably cost about a thousand or something. So they are really ripping us off here. They are really ripping us off. But that's apparently what you can do when you're in, t in a destroyer 50 times the size of us could delete us from space and uh, see that we are about to explode. So now do I owe you credits? Great. For scanning? Oh, it's not even for the shield, it's just for scanning. Okay. Uh, what is the Teladi company again? Teladi Space Company controls this space sector. Don't even know if I can uh, enable subtitles. I may. <laughs> Emergency does make prices rise. Yeah. Ah, uh, so nice, right? <laughs> How unfortunate for you, but now it costs 200% more. <laughs> or actually 30,000% or something. Still so much more. Uh, how many other races live here? Oh, 3,000. Oh, that's fine. Um, can't you help me for free? Yeah. I mean, you, you would think. It's just the laws of the market. They can't be considered accountable. Yeah, right. Exactly. I have no credits. Come on. What do you want? What do you want from me? I'm here. I don't even have a shield or weapons or anything. Please don't rip my heart out. Oh, God. I shouldn't mention that because they probably will and sell it. Yeah, otherwise there's no profit. Couldn't you help me for free, man? Come on, I'm, I'm in an emergency situation. Please. You do not understand the importance of profits. Are you yeah. sure you're not from Argon? Are you sure you're not from Argon? So, Teladi are essentially uh, Ferengi. Just essentially. Um, why should I start to make profit? I do not know what you're talking about. What you... Where's Argon? A Ferengi? I mean, you should know Ferengis, right? Star Trek? The uh, little, very uh, devious guys who try to scam you for money on every possible moment? No? Oh, it's fine. Uh, why should I start to make profit? <laughs> I guess because I can? Quite true. You must pay. Uh, uh, I do not know what you're talking about. No yeah. You never watched any Star Trek, really? Well, you may want to. <laughs> it's fine, though. It's fine. Uh, what do you suggest? So 3.5k. It's actually not that bad. We can earn those, I hope, pretty quickly. But I'm not sure. Uh, how can I earn credits? I mean, he told us to trade. Um, uh, why would you lend me credits? Mm -hmm. Generous. Can't help it. I grew up with Warhammer. I was... Uh, it was a, a different outlook. Okay, I see. Still, I mean, Star Trek is nice. Stargate is one of my favorite shows ever. Babylon 5. Awesome. Just awesome. Just I can recommend that to anyone. Watch Babylon 5. It's great. Just the CGI is bad. Um, because they they try to, did it, to, to do it the... Um, how, how it's done today. But they didn't have the tech for it. So, um, 
it looks pretty horrendous. But everything else, the story, the the characters, everything is amazing. I think even way better than Star Trek, but that's just my opinion. Um, when do I have to pay you back? Yeah, when? Am I redeemed? Yes, you are. It's fine. <laughs> Aaron, it's fine. Um, uh, suppose I don't agree? You will become pirate outlaw Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's bad. Do we have pirates? Uh, what do you mean, even if I could navigate? Yeah, that's bad. How do I navigate then? Without charging us more. That is actually a pretty nice move from, uh, from them. Um, can I trust you? Well, do I have a choice? Do I have to pay extra for the information? That is actually a question I would ask myself in this situation after they t t tell me, well, the scan costs 3k. <laughs> And for a Teladi, that is pretty nice. That's actually pretty, pretty nice of them. Uh, can I trust you? I don't have a choice, but I want to ask. You have no other choice. Exactly. Luckily, we didn't meet the split or the parent at first, because that would have gone quite differently. What are you downloading to my onboard computer then? Receiving upgrade information for database. Well, that is nice. How do I get started then? Well, that's actually how trade works. Oh, the start is random. It's not always them. No, it is. It is always them. I just, I just meant in in kind of the a lore sense. If you would have. Uh, been stranded in split territory, you would end as space dust. And if you would have uh, uh, be st would have been stranded in Paranet uh, territory, you would probably have been captured and tortured to death many times over. <laughs> it's at least what I what I think those races would do. Makes sense. Just wanted to make sure I was fine. <laughs> Absolutely okay. No, I d uh, this the start is is never random in these in any of the games. Um, but other games, later games, um, enable you to start at different starting points because the story is not that much of a thing in the other games. It's more of a sandbox. This game actually is a story game, the first one. Rampant capitalism isn't that bad, hey? <laughs> well, it is. Just that's how the universe works here. Though I guess uh, slavery would have been yet more rampant. Yes, and if we would have pick been picked up by pirates, we would have been a slave. You can actually, in in the second, I think, X2 and X3, you can take pirates um, which which jump out of their ships because they're afraid they're going to die. You can take them into your cargo hold if you have uh, life support in there. And um, you can then sell them back to pirate stations as slaves. You can literally do that in these games. I don't think you can do that in the first one. I don't think anyone could leave the ship in the first one. That wasn't a thing yet. Um, what do I buy and what do I sell? Yeah, I have no idea. What what goods do you have? <laughs> Trade is life and profit is lifeblood. No, of course not only with pirates, but, well, that was a good example, wasn't it? <laughs> you could actually sell anyone into slavery. The problem is it didn't pay much, which is sad. 
Just casually committed 150 files to the live ser uh, liver server, I am afraid. What? <laughs> what? Where do I buy and sell? Yeah, we can see one in the upper right, uh, lower right corner there. Oh, to the live server, I see. <laughs> I see, Bona, it's fine. Uh, how do I buy these things? Yeah, with 100 credits, that is just nothing. 100 is nothing, and that is why we have to do something right from the start, which will make the start even harder. Um, at least in terms of not dying. When do I start? Now! now. Yeah, I need weapons indeed. Uh, where do I get new lasers? Actually, I love this start. Um, I, I love the start of the game. I, I couldn't, I didn't know what to do after this part here. But I love this start just because of, of the implications, you know, just being stranded somewhere in deep space. You have no idea where you are and there are some lizard people just talking to you and giving you money and saying you owe them even more, which is just ridiculous in my mind. Yeah, what are the Xenon again? You, you talked about them before, but you didn't tell me anything. Yeah, that's probably true for the first... I don't know, 12 hours. Uh, what type of factory then? Many factories produce many different goods. But factories also require goods themselves. Go trade, make credits. Captain of Teladi Company, Space Fleet Ship Phoenix, wishes you good profit. And I think we will actually repay the loan. And there they go. My god, this thing is fast. Wow, the first game was, was ridiculous with those. Uh, press Shift H to get tips like this one. Yeah, great, thanks. Um, this one the is... Falcon fighter is a, a Falcon. ...between the Argon Elite and the Boron Piranha, with some split technology thrown in for good measure. It is fast, well-armed, and can be found operating in... It's just a patchwork sectors. ship. It is suspected that some of these ships have been leased by the Talati Company space fleet to operate on behalf of the pirates. Although to date, no actual proof of this agreement can be established. Look at the sector behind behind the thing here. This is a shipyard, this is a trade dock, um, and those are factories. And this is actually my... Um, the, the sector I like the most in this game. Just because I spent so much time in there. This is a solar factory. No, what's it called in English? I can't. I can't. Okay, I can't do this yet. It's fine. Um, it was definitely a novelty back then. Yeah, it was. That series sure went a long way being able to walk in the ship and control whole fleets and stations. Yes, exactly. You can control whole fleets and stations in this one too. It is just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's really horrible and it's so much money you lose if any any of these die although having a million credits in this one is about as much as having a billion in the other probably it's so much the prices in here are just nothing against the uh, the later games no i don't want that oh that was s i think okay so we have a man a one megawatt shield so one megawatt, as you can see above, is 1,000 shield points. The uh, fighter we just scanned had 5,000 shield points, so a five megawatt shield, which is quite a bit more. And this shield is worth nothing, actually. So we are going to sell this one. The problem is there is no hull in this game. So if your shield goes down and you get hit once more, you're dead. Um, which will make this start even harder. Solar power, plant beta. solar power plant, okay. I only know the German name, but we need to go there to sell the shield. So let's just go there for a second. Oops, uh, inflation hit the universe hard, yeah, indeed. 
Uh, oops, almost forgot. No, it's good. I did follow already. Ah, great. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I just wanted to mention that right right there. Um, good. We, we will do this. We will, we will land on this station real quick. Well, the problem is we cannot even boost, right? Singularity engine time accelerator not installed. Yeah, no CETA. Okay. Turbo engaged. No CETA yet, so we have to go with the turbo, which is pretty bad in this game. Oh my god, the ship is just... Shields critical. Yep, and my shields go down so fast. But I can... Oh, even though my shields are out, I can keep the turbo up. That is something that you couldn't do in the other games. Target now locked on. Yeah, look at the look at the distances. It's just eight kilometers away, which is nothing if you think about which is a which is an interesting quirk in this game, because they had um, their jump gates. The distances were just irrelevant, and they could just settle right next to each other, and it's fine um, in this game. But if you think about Elite Dangerous, oh my God, the distances are quite a bit more, about um, multi million kilometers. Every time you jump, or every time you you go, go into, I don't know what the spe what the drive is called. Um, same with Star Citizen, actually. So let's get a little bit slower. The problem is, in this game, you have to. Um, let's talk to them. Uh, it's Solarkraftwerk, Aaron. It's the German name. For the solar power plant. Request permission to land. Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. Yeah. And the problem is now why no having no shield is really bad. And we need to be in the green for this. So I probably have to... No, that's fine. I can do this. I'm playing with a joystick in here and it's really good, actually. It's really, really good. Oh, the, the melody is so good. The tune that plays when you land. But if you docked on behalf of Chairman Keo. Betelati Company Chairman Keo, right. To you and welcomes you on board this space equipment dock. Yeah, we need to go into the equipment dock to see what we can do. But if you bump into the airlock there, if you just bump it without a shield, you're dead. Connection and this will be local trading network Yeah, this Oh my this god, 700 is a basic laser that is used in many light weapons and smaller fighter craft. Just 720 720 credits to buy a laser. That is nothing. In the other games you have to you have to pay, I don't know, 50k for a laser, but I think 50k is exactly what you need for a heavy fighter in this game or something, which is just so different from the other games and I like it. Uh, but look at that, the one megawatt shield gives us three, th uh, almost 3,000 credits. One so let's do that. One megawatt shield removed. That's the five megawatt, and I like the differences in the, um, in the picture there, which is really cool. We could buy missiles, but every missile you shoot costs you money in this game, which is cool, and I hate it at the same time. There's a mineral scanner, freight scanner, trading extension we will need the video enhancement goggles which is only in this game unfortunately and this i want the singularity engine time accelerator or CETA. will you say something about that this recently yeah. introduced product is based on the phenomenon of time and space anomalies i never get tired of that language singularities the CETA is an attachment to the ship's normal propulsion engine and can when activated compress time up to tenfold Due to the constraints of space warping, it is not possible to alter one's course or velocity during a time compression, and the device will be deactivated as soon as any interference with the ship's controls are registered. The invention yeah. was clearly meant to shorten travels across vast distances. No known side effects exist, but they cannot be ruled out. No known side effects exist. Mm -hmm. Right. This thing just accelerates time by tenfold. Which is amazing in this game, and actually in all the other games, just not in Rebirth, because they scrapped that, and you have to really work hard to get this stuff. And this it costs 144 credits in this game, which is ridiculous. And we absolutely want that. Because this will help us... Um, this will help us with... Um, with trading by a lot. By such a big margin, it's ridiculous. Um, okay, now... I will put a cut in here. The stream will, of course, go on. There's another gate, by the way, which we could go through. 
Uh, there is no map in this game, right? No rockets. Oh yeah, this MS Rockets. Okay, yeah, that, I I think that is there. Is there no? There is a star map. Uh, wasn't it at at the at the point? At the um, what's it called in English? I for I've forgotten. It's fine. As there is a there is a way to to bring up the map, but I, I have to look that up probably. But we will put a little cut in here. Next time we will start our trading ventures, and then I will. Um, stop the recording after the next part Until we have enough to buy our first station, which will probably take a while um, Because we start with so few credits and getting more will uh, Will require some nifty trading, but I hope you enjoyed the first part and we'll watch again next time Blue up and goodbye <laughs>